Hello YouTube, well, you made it to the third video so far, so thank you for that, that's pretty good. Um, today's video is going to be on snuff containers, uh, tins and tap boxes. Uh, we'll start off by having a look at the tap boxes and move on to different kinds of tins and my preferences on which ones I like to use the most, and which ones I think keep snuff freshest for longest and ease of use. So we'll start off with um, tap boxes. Two different kinds here. This is Lakeland and the High Drive snuffs. Um, the Lakeland, Ken the Kendall Lakeland snuff opens up the top like that, pushes open, and you tap the snuff out. Um, these are okay. However, the snuff tends to dry out because there's not a great seal on these. Um, I'll show you this as an example. This snuff so dry that you don't even have to tap it. Just comes straight out, um, which isn't really ideal. Um, could do with a better seal on that. This one opens on the side here. Can you see that? And this one's a bit drier, a bit moist, somewhat moist. Sorry. Um, you can get that out. You can see that sort of comes out when you tap it, uh, which is nicer. I prefer these tap boxes, to be honest. Both are good, but I'd probably avoid these if you can. Stick with a tin if you if you can uh, move up to the next size. So tins, um, I've ordered these here in my preference, from uh, least preferred to favourite. And we'll start off with the this is Wilson's of Sharrow and the Seed and Eucalyptus. And um, the tins are okay; they're easy to open. However, they're almost always overfilled, and um, they don't feel like they make a very good airtight seal. They feel quite loose, so I can imagine snuff's probably going to dry out quite prematurely with these. And to open these, they're usually not too tight. They come with a, a strip of tape around the edge. I think I've got one actually to show you. Here's an unopened tin. Just green tape around there to stop any air getting in. And to open them, lift like that as you can see with this one it some almost always drops out when you open it you have to really try and level it out and that's not much better as you can see so yeah not my favorite kind of tin um, I'll probably look at getting some uh, containers to decant these into so that they don't go off too quickly and the next tin we'll look at this is uh, quite a commonly used plastic tin for Fubar Dulalita. Um, it's plastic all over, comes in a, a plastic shrink wrap and there's no screw thread on it just comes off. Like that, as you can see this is quite a new, a new tin. Um, not overfilled so you don't have the problem where it spills everywhere. However still doesn't feel like it makes much of an airtight seal on there. You could probably do with some tape around it or something to keep it fresh. Um, we'll see how that one goes. Next one up is uh, the Sam Goeth Otter Hound. This one, the tin's okay. It feels like it makes a good seal, it's quite tight. However, when I got this tin and another tin, I couldn't get them open. I wasn't sure how to do it. So uh, with a, a little help from a friend, he showed me that you can use the indent here and a coin and basically push the coin in, twist it and it pushes up the lid as you can see there and then you're open and these ones not overfilled so no problems there but just uh, be careful when you're opening it because they are tight and if you're opening it like this snuff everywhere. Next one along the line which I'm quite a fan of it's just a plastic screw top lid. Feels like it makes quite a good airtight seal, not overfilled and this is a Kendall English Rose. So yeah I like that one. Um, the next one along this is the Freeborg and Treya, this one is Bordeaux 
and this is a, a metal tin with a screw thread on the top. Feels like it makes a really good seal. It's got plastic uh, rubber gum around the edge of the top here so that when you screw the lid on it makes a really tight seal. Feels really airtight and it's kept this one really moist. The next one we'll look at is the, uh, the Singletons plastic tin. The lid's more of a rubber than a plastic and it feels like it makes a really good seal on there. When you push it down, it's really not coming off. Really good seal. So, uh, pleased with that one. Definitely recommend a tin like that. But the one that takes the cake is Toke. Their tins are consistently the best tins I've used. Um, just a metal tin with a screw top. Always filled just right. Keeps the snuff as moist as it needs to be. And when it's screwed back on, it feels really airtight, really solid, nice construction. It's not the thickest, as you can see there's a dent there already. However, it's gonna do the job. And if you've got the 10 grand tins there in your pocket, they're not gonna get bent too much. They're quite sturdy, sturdy construction. So, um, toke, well done. Thumbs up from me. And that's it for the tins. And any other questions you've got, post them in the comments down below and I'll get onto them as soon as I can. Or if I don't know the answer, pop on to snuffhouse.org. I'm sure they'll be willing to help you out. Um, any more requests for videos, drop them in the comments below or send me a message, I'll get on to doing that as soon as I can. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, share it if you want, and I'll see you soon.